Hey everyone, this is the username Evil Tig. And uh, this is a Nikon D5100. I got it, and uh, it's a smaller body than uh, some of the other DSLRs. So when I hold it, I always get my in here at clicking. I'm always touching this uh, round button here and, and moving the. Uh, the thing on the screen over to the far right, the focus point. So I had one of these um, <clears throat> battery packs for one of my other cameras and I liked it. Plus the battery life when you're doing video on this isn't all that great. So they don't make a battery pack for this. So I got the Nikon D3100 battery pack which should be, and I'm opening it for the first time here, cable and documentation which we don't need. <clears throat> so now this shouldn't fit this camera. There's a up sweep on the end. So you take your battery out, put it with the extra battery I have, and <clears throat> hold the door at an angle. Pull the door off. And then when this slides on, yeah, you can see it has a, uh, it hits right here. Doesn't so much hit in the front corner as it does here. Uh, the other thing is, it looks like the bolt lines up. So okay, so what we're gonna do is I gotta get a pen, so bear with me. I should have had all this ready. <clears throat> Can only find a black one, but I should be able to see it. So we look at the camera and we see where it's hitting and it's this probably from this seam over we need to to make that flush. Doesn't look like it's hitting anywhere else. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this corner, I don't know if it's going to focus on or not, but there's a that back corner I'm going to take and sand that off. And then we'll see if it'll fit. So I'll be back after I sand this off real quick. Okay, I've got sanded down. I haven't tried to fit it yet, so I'm going to have to sand it down again. As you can see now, I left that front corner just because it looked like this wasn't affecting it, so let's see if it'll slide up on there now and screw on. <clears throat> Looks like there's no light really showing. I mean actually I'll have to get my father-in-law's uh, D5000. He got the D5000 battery and <clears throat> I think he has more light shown between the battery and the camera than mine. So that's kind of strange. So then um, on the side here we gotta open this up and I put this in here and plug it in here. I guess that could be shorter. Back. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But to use the shutter, you need that. All right, so let's put the batteries in and see if it works. All right. 
battery one and battery two. It's got a nice little grippy thing on the front. screen's on. It says I have full battery. Uh, okay. So let's see. Um, yeah. Takes a picture. It's got a live view. Yeah, as you can see, works very nicely. And that's, that works. So vertical sheeting works. And uh, horizontal sheeting works. Now I will say, um, you know, it does feel nicer now. It's all together, just more grip area. Let me get my finger on that big part there. It gives you gives you a good handhold on it. And for vertical shooting, it's uh, pretty cool. Take it out of live mode and turn this thing back around. Alright, now let's go to manual. Let's see. Yeah, so. Yeah, you can see when you push this button. Push this button. Okay. So there, D5100 battery grip. All you need. Let me see if I can get a good shot of the modification I made. The modifications right here. So that's how the body sits on. Not too bad. So <clears throat> if you've been waiting for them to, I know there are a lot of people talking about how they've been waiting for um, the battery grip for the D5100. Just get a D3100 because it takes the same batteries. And then uh, it takes the same battery, so it'll work with that camera. And then there's a little. Supposedly, you can well, there's one problem. A little thing here to put your door in. Apparently, the D5100 is a little bit bigger. So, it will not go in there. Alright, so you can't store... Can't store your battery grip. I can't store your battery door in there. And it has another screw there for tripod. 
Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. <clears throat> now, I have seen on auction where people are selling D5100 battery grips for like $78. And I don't know if they're just modifying D31s or what, but this battery grip cost me $32 or 30 bucks free shipping, something like that. And it took me about um, 15 seconds to make that little mod right there. I used a sanding wheel. You can use a file. You can probably use a knife and just slowly carve the plastic away right there. Then you have yourself a battery grip for your D5100. I hope it helps somebody.